Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and I'm super excited to post this video because this is the first time I'm doing a collab with my virtual friend Shweta and her channel name is Early Learning with T. She is a very passionate mother who posts awesome set of activities that she do with her daughter. Since both our kids love experiments, we thought why not we do a collab on the asset based theme. So here in this video, you'll be seeing two experiments. One is done by Arav and the other one by Little T. So I'll share the link for Shweta's channel in my description box below. Please check to it and share your support as well. Thank you and come let's get into the video. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So what are we going to do today? Today we are going to see how a fire extinguisher works. So can you tell us what all we need for the experiment? Sure. Yeah. One spoon, a dropper, baking soda, vinegar, a matchstick, we need candle, one candle and one jar. Okay. So are you ready to start the experiment? Sure. First I'm going to put my candle inside. Then I'm going to put baking soda surrounded the candle with this spoon. By not touching the candle. You can even add the baking soda first and then place the candle too. But here he prefers the other way around. So we are doing it this way. Now my mom will help me light up the candle. Here to add vinegar. It has to not touch the candle. Look, I have the fire. Wow! So do you know how this happened, Ara? Yeah, because of carbon dioxide. Okay, so what if there is oxygen, the fire will go big, bigger. Mostly, how we make carbon dioxide is vinegar and baking soda. When we mix it, it makes carbon dioxide and makes the candle off. Next, add vinegar. It's indeed a fun-filled experiment, right? And I'm sure you must have found it interesting too. Please share in your support by subscribing to our channel for a healthy growth. Thanks a lot for your support. And as always, it's time to say bye-bye from our cute little kids. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye for now.